hi guys and how are we all doing today oh just noticed that my hair looks a bit funny clipped like this and basically i'm here with no makeup on today and in my just like lounging wear because i'm going to show you today how i like to do an at-home facial and this is basically because obviously with the current situation with what's happening right now none of us can necessarily be going to salons or spas or to our regular facialists or skincare experts i know it's it's very much a luxury anyway to be able to do that often but I do feel like there's people like me who might suffer from spot prone skin. I'm always banging on on my Instagram or on this channel about having acne and acne marks. I'm currently in the middle of having a couple of dermarola and microneedling treatments, which I was really keen to keep on. So I would ideally like to be keeping on top of my skincare routines, even though I can't have professional facials done anymore. So what I'd like to do is to show you guys at home how you can give yourself a nice relaxing facial massage, one that is going to treat the skin, work the skin, relax the skin, plump, glow, clear, clarify, whatever it is that you need on your skin, you can make a big improvement by carrying out at home massage. If you've got the right products and you learn the technique, you could do the full facial routine once a week. Um, however, there are elements from what I'm going to show you that you can be practicing every day. And that's because some of the tools that I'm going to be using include a jade roller that I've only just recently started using and as Basically, this is what's prompted me to make this video. Since I have been rolling my skin with a jade roller, I'm just finding that I'm just getting that much more smoother, glowing, plumped, and overall it kind of combats the puffiness that I feel that I have and my face holds, especially around here and around the eyes. Now with jade rollers, there's a lot that can be said about these in terms of crystals. So I know that the jade crystal is meant to fight away any sort of negative energies. It's meant to help anxiety. So if that's something, I'm not saying I, I strongly believe in crystals and that this is what happens if you use jade, I would love it too. I am quite interested in crystals, but I'm definitely no expert. However, if you are interested in that element, jade is a very good one to use because we could all do with less negative energy, right? One of the key benefits of using a jade roller as part of your facial routines and massage is that it is extremely soothing. Um, sometimes a little tip, I keep mine in the fridge, especially if I'm feeling like I've just, I just feel like I really need to cool down my skin. I might have a headache. I might have a lot of tension in my head. Um, my skin might look quite angry or irritated if I've been using any acne products or I'm having a particularly bad breakout. And that way, when you roll and it's all cool, it really cools down the body temperature too. It's so relaxing. It's literally one of my new favorite devices. I'm also gonna to be touching on these handy face mask brushes. And before you ask, of course you can use face masks without using brushes, which I'm probably sure that the majority of you do, and that's what I used to always do. But since receiving these, I have found that they have been quite life-changing for me, mainly because I find that masks are quite messy. It's just a bit annoying with your fingers trying to slather it all on and, and then you're washing your hands constantly. I know it sounds lazy, but I'll just be completely honest. I just find this is so much more easier. There's one with a big head, one with a little head. And this is basically so that this one can go to the big areas like all your cheeks, um, basically your full face application. And the smaller brush is great for those. If you're multi-masking and you want to apply a different mask on a certain area, for example, spots, or if you want to get in the grooves like the size of your nose or just a small application, like if you were to put like a pore extraction mask on your nose and forehead, it might just be easier to use one that's smaller to control. Anyway, let's start our at home massage. Um, I'm going to be doing a full facial cleanse first, followed by a mask, and then we're going to finish off with serums and the jade roller. Now, the first product I'm going to use is a deep cleanse cleanser. So, to start off this facial massage, you should have nothing on your skin, completely bare. I use this one from Decree. This is a beautiful, beautiful brand. Um, it's quite pricey and I was lucky to be gifted this at a blogger event. It's basically a creamy clay and fruit acid cleanser and the reason why it works so well on me is because I do have acne prone skin and I have a lot of marks and discoloration um, and I do need a cleanser that is really going to shed away the, the dull skin cells and really give it a deep exfoliation as it cleanses. You can use whatever cleanser you like. If you like to start this off you can use a foaming cleanser first. However, I'm going to go straight with a, with a cream one. And what we're going to do first is apply it to dry skin. Now, 
Now, because this is the first part of the massage, make sure that when you're rubbing this into your skin, you are really massaging the face. So just take, take a good 60 seconds, even a minute and a half if you like. I mean, you can take longer, but take this time to really, really massage the skin, massage the temples, use big sweeping movements, and just really work the product into the skin. Once you've massaged your cleanser in, the next step is to remove it with basically you can either splash your face a couple of times with warm water and then use a muslin cloth to remove it or you can go straight in there with a warm muslin cloth and rinse off all the formula. So that's the way that I'm going to do it today. I just thought I would explain at this point that I was going to hold off filming this video until my skin had cleared up because I got an awful outbreak on my chin and I didn't really want it to be on camera but then I thought, you know what, I'm just going to go with it. I've had an outbreak, we're all adults here, you know, I don't have these every day, you just caught me on a really bad day, but I'm just, just going to go for it anyway, but probably do feel a little bit self-conscious about these, so you might see me a couple of times really trying to hide them when I'm on camera. Now the cleansing cloth that I'm going to use is one from Temple Spa, you can get these from anywhere though, lots of brands do muslin cloths, I used to always use Liz Earl before I discovered Temple Spa. <laughs> Once you've rinsed off your deep cleanser, what we're going to do next is put a face mask on. And the right amount of time to use a face mask does totally depend on your skin and on the product that you're going to use. But usually about 10 to 15 minutes is enough for a product to really work into the skin. Anything quicker than that probably means that it's quite a stronger product and then it needs a really short time to do quite a drastic job and then come off. The one that I'm going to use today is from Magnetone and it's a peel and purge enzyme clay mask. And the reason that I'm using this is it's, I always try to to use products that do have quite a large content of natural ingredients and ones that are friendly for acne and help to clear up oily skin and congested skin. My pores are quite clogged um, and I do have that oily T-zone. Um, the Magnetone Supernaturals Porify range is really, really good for that. So what we're going to do with this one is you basically apply it to your full face and you leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes. So I'm going to be using my silicone brush and let's get applying. <music> the smaller brush and I'm just going to really get into the little areas like my nose, side of the nose and anywhere around my eyes. I just want a little bit more of a precise application. Oh, I really look attractive with this mask on, don't I? Just work it around your eyebrows. I'm totally going to get some in my eyebrow hairs. I can just see it. And then we sit and chill out for 10-15 minutes. I've got a bottle of water here. I'm just going to go and scroll through my phone for a minute. Um, you could make a brew. You could check your social medias. You could, I'd say read a book, but not really in 10-15 minutes. You can do your update your to-do list. You could do your gratitude list. So when your 10-15 minutes are up, what we're going to do is we're going to start to wash off the mask. And then again, we're going to use a muslin cloth that's rinsing warm water just to get rid of any of the residue or any of the sticky bits of mask that you tend to find like just stuck in like the hairlines or on other parts of the face. Work in the warm water to start to remove the mask. Remember 
I'm going to hold time that you're rinsing. So just use long massage like technique. Now, if we want to give our skin a really full, complete facial experience where it's all buffed and it's all exfoliated and smoothed and pruned to perfection, what you might want to do is bring in a skin buffer at this point. This is a gentle facial buffer by a brand called So Eco, and as the name suggests, it's all natural fabrics, natural products that they produce. So what you just want to do at this stage is once you have used your muslin cloth to lightly remove any residue of the mask is you just pop this on your hand. This is also super affordable, the link will be below, and just gently just buff into your skin. I just like to use small circular movements just very lightly on the skin and it basically just whilst your skin's softer and it's just been washed and it's just been exfoliated by the mask it'll just help to shed away those skin cells that are just a little bit dormant and need renewing. Also, the more buffed and exfoliated your skin, the more that products are gonna work to a deeper and more professional level when you apply them. Okay, the last part, and this is now my favorite part of the at-home facial massage. So the best product to use is a facial oil for this last part, and I'm gonna use a rosehip seed oil, and if you follow my blog or on Instagram, you'll see that I'm always raving about rosehip oil. If you've got acne or marks or scars or really dull, uneven skin, rosehip oil is really really good at basically like shedding away and fading them and giving that renewed fresh glow but you can use any facial oil you want to use or if you prefer you can use a serum or a moisturizer choice is yours just put a few dots around your face lightly massaging the key here is that ideally your jade roller shouldn't be pulling on the skin that's really dry. It's not that there's anything wrong too much with doing that, but if your skin is really dry, then basically the roller can just be pulling a little bit too much and that's not what you want. So the more slippery the surface, the better. So I'm going to be using the larger side of the jade roller for this first bit. And the best way to use this to start off is you start off at the middle of your face and you slowly bring it upwards and outwards like so. And it's nice to just keep repeating that movement. I try and start off first at the bottom half of the face, so like here. And then after a couple of rolls, I'll move it up a little bit. And then up again. And instantly it just feels so soothing, so cooling. The key with these is not to keep going up and down like this. The best way to get the best results is just one direction, just a nice long roll. When you've got a headache, this is really nice, especially if you've put the roller in the fridge. Now I'm going to switch to the smaller jade roller and this is ideal to use around the eye area. So how I'm going to use it first is just, if you see this bit here, just going to lightly roll it down and then I'm just going to follow my eyebrow here. It basically feels really lovely when you just roll right through to the eyebrow, like any tension is just being sucked away. Obviously, you can't be too picky about your eyebrows going mega out of shape at this point. You can use a lifting technique. Also, you don't have to go up and down. You can also go across and just slide across the groove of the eye.
This would be a really good idea as well if once you've applied your eye cream around here to just use this and just really massage the eye cream into the eye socket. It would be a really good way to reduce any eye puffiness, dark circles. And that is now the end of the at home facial massage practice that I like to do and that I will be doing whilst we are here in self isolation. Um, I'm on day 11, so I'm gonna be, well no, sorry, I'm on day 10, tomorrow is day 11. I'm gonna try and do this either in the middle of the day just to give myself a little bit of zen or in the morning to really freshen myself up and wake myself up. Obviously, if you were to do it every day, you would skip the mask. Please don't use a face mask every day. Um, no matter how gentle the mask is, you don't need to use a face mask every day. Thank you guys, thanks for watching this and if you have any tips or anything that you would like to add, um, just let me know, leave a, anything in the comments and yeah, see you soon.